Alright, so we are back in Overpack, and we're currently looking at a bush. An indoor bush. So yeah, in the last episode we uh, tried the ambushing thing, I guess it sort of worked out, we killed Jerry repeatedly, he wasn't too happy about that, but uh, overall it was pretty good, but uh, for now at least we're gonna put that on hold. I also found my uh, new love, the Carnania K Sniper, the cheapest sniper ever around, very deadly. Although I'm not sure whether or not I actually like this thing, because it doesn't shoot as fast as a DMR, which I sort of got used to uh, playing Overpack for the last few months. So I'm probably going to try and get rid of this, but uh, it didn't really seem to be all that terrible. Anyways, for this episode, uh, I think uh, we're first going to try and do some base raids. It's uh, It's been a while since we did that thing, so uh, maybe some new bases have popped up around us. Uh, we're going to, well at least I'm going to buy a 350s at a bash, pick up Wolf, and then drive to base. Get the helicopter and uh, probably gonna try and do the jumping thing again. If we do see a base that's made out of wood, we uh, could probably get the sledgehammer, which we should have. We even still have the chainsaw as well. So, we could even use that, although I don't really like taking that thing out all that much, because, uh, well, they really got them expensive. Yeah, I think we're gonna try and do that. Uh, if we can't really find anything, we're probably gonna try and do some missions and uh, shoot some people. Maybe with this thing. Or maybe I should go real crazy and just refer back to uh, the Lee Enfield. So that thing, uh, that thing never lets you down. You know, it, it used to be the AS-50 of the south, but then they sort of nerfed it. But, it's, it's still really good. I should probably just start using that again. Because I do like the Enfields. Anyways, that's sort of the plan, I guess. So, uh, I'm gonna run to Bash and uh, probably buy a 350Z. And, uh, pick Wolf up. If he's not dead at this point. I hope he's not. But yeah. There's a guy right over there. He's running for the barracks. So I'm gonna wait for him and shoot him. How about that? Actually, multiple people. Interesting. Right. One in the construction yard, the second one is definitely in the barracks. Kill him apparently. This thing is not as powerful as I'm used to. And that guy's definitely dead though. There can actually be two people in there because I saw somebody with survivor clothing. And the guy that was speaking out was wearing s jungle clothes. Not sure what the name of that thing is. Maybe I should have used the uh, corn in the eight. I don't know. Could use a DMR, I guess. Would probably come in handy. So probably, uh, if I do manage to get out of this sticky situation right here, probably gonna try and purchase a DMR. Okay, we got cars. Is that you? No. No? No. Are you sure? What? Is that you or not? Me what? In a taxi. No. Really or not? I'm not. I'm not even in the server. Okay. Really? I shit you not. Is this you or not? It is you. It's not. Shoot the taxi. I'm in Starry. Okay. Who else in their right mind buys a fucking taxi, though? Like, what the I'm fuck? not alone. Yep. Okay, I'm unconscious. Right, he was waiting for me. I was red. Right. That was a distraction force. I get it now. 
the taxi just had you a stone. You're like, what? No, I, I still stick with my weird winner fucking red man. I got them taxi. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody in a red man buys a cat and taxi wolf. <laughs> right, so it's a little bit. It's down by the taxi, and they're trying to come up to finish me off. Right, he should be about dead. There's still a guy right below me, though. And he's trying to kill me. That is not good. Well, since he's downstairs, he's at a disadvantage because he has to aim up, so I'm going to blow back real quick. Uh, saying that was a mirror kill. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he trade killed. Not too bad, not too bad. I can, I can live with that. Alright, so that was a good attempt on their part. Although I do think that the guy should have died before he was able to shoot me. Since I shot first. But, you know, that's the standard armor thing for you. And it's over back. Immediately the guy did have a DMR, so, uh, he had a better chance of killing me. That was a close one, though. Uh... I admire their patience. We had, we had a few run-ins with that group. Uh, it's like Jose McGilligan, some other guy, and a third guy whose name I don't really know. But I guess it's on, and we have to prepare for war. Because we just can't have a rival group on a server that shoots at us. Just uh, can't have that. So we gotta shoot him back. Anyways, that uh, puts a damper in the plan, I guess. I uh, think I'm gonna cycle up to Boar Trader City by a car. A weapon and then maybe drive back. Wolf was in the neighborhood around there, he was at Starry, trying to provide backup for me, but uh, he was too late. He was too late. He showed up with a taxi and tried to gun me down. And did. But yeah, I'm gonna go try and do that, I guess. So yeah, actually, a uh, semi interesting base at Bybor. Seen this one before, but it's, it's sort of like a castle. It's pretty cool, actually. Oh, it does look kind of messy. Yeah, plus the floating helipad, sort of. Yeah, not really with this base, but it's decently cool, I guess. It's sort of like a fortified compound. I can live with that. They probably have zombie troubles though, but I, I can live with it. I can tolerate that base. It's not awful. Yeah, driving back to the Northwest Airfield, uh, Wolf is picking up Seth, so uh, we're getting those reinforcements for the uh, oncoming war. Which probably won't happen, but there might be a war. I don't know. I don't know actually whether or not we won the last one. There was a war, but then it sort of just like simmered down and nothing happened. So we might have another one. Or it might just turn into nothing. I don't know. Well, we are at the uh, side of size. Let's see if there's anything left to loot. Probably not. That doesn't look too terrible. Hmm, OC14 SD. It's not really what I want, but he does have DMR mags, which I can sort of use, and some extra medical supplies. Yeah, this is not too bad, I guess. I can live with this. Uh, pretty sure they hit this body right here. His uh, leg does not look all that well. But yeah, definitely did kill the guy, as I said. And uh, he killed me as well. So, yeah. Ooh, I do still have my mag pool Masada, though. It is that guy from the uh, YouTube channel, isn't it? Fuck. Who? Nah. You know the guy? I've never heard of that guy. Yeah, I've seen him once. He speaks weirdly. Hey. I can hear you. <laughs> oh, oh that's the blue van. Don't. No, that's the guy we were with earlier.
Said my voice was funny, eh? But not anymore. Who's laughing now? Oh shit, he had he had nice stuff on him actually. I wanna see one ten acre. Took his clothes? No, I don't need his clothes. No, I'm actually yeah, I'm happy I shot him. You gonna wear his socks? Let's see, is my car still fine though? I I'm amazed. This thing is perfectly fine. <laughs> Secret Service car is fully armored? Yeah, I know. Well, shit, man. I'm gonna buy more of these things. Like, this fare is way better than the SUV. Well, let's go. <laughs> SUV is paper mache.